This time around, we're taking out the Leopard 2 PL, the high tier premium for the Germans. This vehicle is easy to play, but very difficult to master. And yes, there's a bit of a twist near the end, so stay tuned. So it's been nearly a year since the Leopard 2 PL first came into War Thunder and in that short amount of time this vehicle has seen some pretty drastic changes that really buff up the performance of this vehicle while still being at a very respectable BR. But is it worth your purchase or grind? Well, that's what we're going to go ahead and find out or try to at least in today's video. But before I go ahead and dive right into that, as per usual, if you guys want to go ahead and maybe find a small way to support the channel, there's a few ways to go about that. The first one being is I do have a 3% discount link, which does a few things for yourself as well as for me. One, it discounts your order in the War Thunder store. You get the uh, in-game decal, my in-game decal, completely part of it, which is super awesome. And that 3% goes directly to me and supports me as a creator. Not just myself, too. There's other creators. Uh, mine is just one of, I would say, about maybe 30 or 40 of us who have this. So yeah, there's a lot to choose from. So yeah, if you want this, you know where to go. Now, uh, the second one is Patreon. It's just a behind the scenes kind of stuff. It's very reasonable uh, price, or at least I tried to make it to be. And uh, yeah, that's so all I really do is just post up behind the scenes, how I do things. You guys get to know me on a more personal level outside of Discord and so on and so forth. So there's that too. But anyways, let's dive into the Leopard 2 PL and why maybe this is a vehicle that you should really be adding into your top tier lineup. In fact, I'm just going to go ahead and say this outright. If you don't have this in your top tier lineup, I have no idea what you're doing in top tier, okay? Because this is such a superb vehicle. So much so that I would even go as far as to say is that you should play this over the Leopard 2A5 or at least that was true up into a certain point. Now, let me explain before you go ahead and try to tear my head off in the comments, okay? Saying, oh, my Leopard 2A5, right? Yeah, I get it. Okay, cool. Now, this thing, which is at 10.7, has... I guess similar capabilities to what you would find with the 2A5, its wedge is very powerful, right? It has a very good round. You have generation two thermal sights paired with these amazing optics. I mean, look at this, this is great, right? And a great commander sight that is easily utilized and you can utilize it very correctly too. However, some of the downsides, as per usual, is the wedge isn't as strong as you would find with the 2A5. This breach area is significantly weaker than what you would find with the Leopard 2A5 and the 2A6. For example, you see how tiny this breach is? It's not really an ideal target to go after. Normally, you want to go under the neck of this thing, the uh, lower front plate, upper front plate, depending on what you're firing. But when it comes to the Leopard 2 PL, the upper front plate is the same as the 2A4s, significantly weaker, and the breach is much larger. But the wedges are incredibly powerful, much like you would find, again, with the 2A6 and the 2A5. And you do fire DM43. Now, DM43 is a somewhat newer shell. Uh, the 2A5 and this vehicle used to share it exactly at the same BR at 10.7, somewhat 11.0 now. But of course, Gaijin has since introduced the 2A5 with DM53, which really makes this vehicle very, very powerful. But the Leopard 2 PL still is, in my opinion, a very superb vehicle with this amount of firepower. You have everything you would find with the Leopard, and you get one more thing that you don't find with the Leopards, and that is this DM11. Now, unfortunately, Gaijin just did not want to leave this thing alone. It was way too good for its own being, unfortunately, such as when it first came in, it was a, a regular frag round, right? How you would find with the Russians and the Chinese. It was a frag round, whatever, cool, right? It kind of worked. And then Gaijin did something amazing. They made this a proxy fuse uh, frag round, which was amazing. I absolutely love the damn thing. And then Gaijin changed it again by making it a timed views and in truth it sucks i can't use it against helicopters i could i do on occasion but nowhere near to the effectiveness as i would find with the proxy round so i rarely i mean very rarely ever use these nowadays which is a huge shame too because you think oh yeah the americans have the empath the germans have that 
but not anymore, I guess. And trust me, I got an earful for my buddy Yeti. He was always telling me, that's not true, blah, blah, blah. You know, it shouldn't be like that. Yeah, well, they finally listened to you, dude, so there's that. And one more thing, too, before we go ahead and dive into the actual gameplay, there's a big mistake that a lot of Leopard 2PL players do, and it drives me nuts. One, you're low level, okay? What I mean by that is you're brand new in the game. You should not be buying this thing. I'm telling you that. If, you're, if you don't have uh, 6.7, you should not be playing this because all you do is feed players like me. Simple as that. And second is ammunition. For some reason... If you're new, you should not be carrying a full load. This thing can carry what? 42 rounds? You should not be carrying 42 rounds. I'll show you in the game why, but just this, I have destroyed so many new players in this thing because they would carry a full load every single time. <laughs> Don't do that. I promise it'll benefit you in the long run. So let's go and get started, and I'll show you what I mean in game, assuming I don't forget. Let's begin. Holy crap, dude, really? Tickle my pickle, 69. <laughs> Every single video, I swear, we always find at least one person with this weird name. Also, we got to pull down to here. But the twist is it's a night game on a single cap point. Ugh. <laughs> but look at these sights, right? Now, okay, like I was saying earlier, and I think I didn't forget this, is uh, look at this. That is why you want to carry 21 rounds, okay? You should not be carrying 42 because 21... Look how little that ammunition is. Very few people are going to go for that because they might be thinking, okay, maybe it's level 2 PL, I'm gonna shoot a little higher. Maybe I'll shoot lower because I know for a fact, blah, blah, blah. Or maybe I'm carrying 16 rounds, which would get rid of all that ammunition. Yeah, that's why. Don't carry 42 rounds. Trust me. Otherwise, I'm gonna know and I'll take advantage of it. <laughs> Anyways, let's make this game count. Yeah, Ugh, I hope this goes good. All right, I'll take on my pickle. Let's uh, <laughs> let's make this count, buddy. Ooh, there's a lot of marks. I got one. Looks like a 64. No, it's T80B. Kind of look like a 64 Bravo. I think of it because I see the, I think the snorkel in the back of it. I think the 64 Bravo is the same thing, too. Oh, what'd you find? Oh, there's another one. Oh, boy. Got his engine. Come on, get him, buddy. Get him, get him. He's open. He's open. Come on. Okay, he doesn't see us. Uh, I'm going to take the risk. Oh, okay. Thank you. Sorry, the reason why I'm I'm not taking the risk is because this guy right here. Come on. Gotcha. Okay, what are you gonna do? Reverse. Come on, 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 come on. No, damn, I lost it. It's all right. Ooh, hold up. He sees somebody to the left. No pickle. Why'd you die? <laughs> oh no. Got your barrel. Hey, buddy. Oh no, no reverse for you. Sorry. Boop. Oh, that's for killing my, my pickle. <laughs> Sorry. That joke's going to get old fast. I, I see something, but... Right here? Oh, he's right there. Hold up. I think I have an idea. Ugh, this is risky. Come on. No. Ugh. Okay, I think I... I think I was a stable round. Come on, I'm getting greedy with this. There we go. Question is, where the hell did that come from? I think I know where that kind of came from. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh, hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, yes. Dude, teammate, you're amazing. Come on, come on. Oh, where is he? Bro, you are my eyes in the sky. Thank you so much. Oh, I hear something. Oh. Oh, I heard something. <laughs> uh, by the way, I was going to say, uh, a little interesting fact. Did you know that the Leopard 2PL was the first vehicle I ever got a nuke on the very first day nukes were introduced in War Thunder 4 RB. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. This was it. And it was a it was an awesome experience too. It was live on my stream. Ah, good times. I think I got a clip of it. If I have it, I'll show it up here. Aha. Gotcha. You know, I was just, uh, I was sitting here in the site and I'm thinking, man, this is nice. You get two times sight, but you get generation two thermal sights. So that's why you'll see me in this site when I'm scoping around my targets. Because again, you do have commander sight. And that's really nice. By the way, uh, we did, or we are going to win this game. So no promises. This is the jump cut. Well, I guess it had to happen at some point. We are fighting at top tier where this thing really belongs. But curious thing I just noticed. Uh, I had a 250% uh, booster on last game so i walked away with about 200,000 silver lions for that one game and i thought 
I got a down tier? In the PL? With boosters? <laughs> that is some definite streamer, YouTuber bias stuff. <laughs> Anyways, uh, uh, you're way too exposed, buddy. Have fun. Oh. Oh. Really? Oh, that's a CB9120. Gotcha. Ah, post pen effect of this thing is pretty nice, actually. What's this? Aha! Gotcha! Type 90. He saw that laze, too. Oof, poor little thing. Yeah, I know. I'm camping on top of this hill, but in truth, I don't want to be too, too aggressive in this thing because remember, your armor, it's not that good. <laughs> just in the turret only, but barely. Excuse me, sir. I just need to fall on through here. Don't mind me. And down we go. Woo! Ooh. I always hit this rock for some reason. You know what? I always hit rocks when I go down everywhere. God. <laughs> nice. I'll be honest, that's kind of scummy. Look at this. Our entire team decided to just skip the A point, not even a decap, and go straight for the camping. I mean, don't get me wrong. The Germans right now, they're kind of in a rough spot, right? You guys know that for a fact. Germans have, German teams have not been doing really well in War Thunder. So I can't really, really blame them too much. But at the same time, it's like, come on, guys. Play PTFO, you know. Try try to be respectable to some extent. And there goes another Leclerc. And I just cannot seem to find myself a good kill, huh? All right, well, uh, you know what? I'll still use this clip for you guys, but... Might be a little jump cut. Oh. I hear a jelly. And so it is one. Hmm. Yeah, I think I kind of deserve that. I'm just trying to find something to shoot at. And apparently it found me. Where are you? There you are. Oh, he's very much aware of my location. Uh. <laughs> okay. Opportunity has come, and it's there. <laughs> ah. I'm gonna use this jump cut. I just want an excuse to get out of here. <laughs> so I'm no backup. Let's get out of here. Right in the neck. Ooh, right in the breach. That's what I told you guys. Yeah. What? <laughs> Dude came barreling down. I think he was just as shocked to see me as I was to see him. Holy crap, we just started the game too. <laughs> All right, that's, that's funny. That's a good start. Uh, by the way, oh, sorry. I was going to ask, uh, do the leopards feel really, really, really sluggish to you guys? They used to be a lot better, but now they feel really unresponsive. Oh, I hear that. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh. I, well, I was in gun sight, so I, I couldn't quite hear him. Oh, boy. Yeah, I was going to say, buddy, he took that shot for me. Thank you. Woo. That could have been much, much worse. Oh, I had to screw up my shot, though. I couldn't hear that HSTV out. I think his engine was turned off or something. Oh, he's bound. Nice play. Nice try, I think. Hold up. Hold up. He's still got his firepower up. Dude, I don't trust that. Hold up. I have an idea. There we go. Got him a crit. I don't know what I knocked out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, God. Whoa. And he screwed up his shot. And you have your loader off. Sorry, bud. Boop. Got another one. Another one, another one. Oh, boy. It's going to be risky. Okay, I got his engine transmission. He potatoed his shot. Gotcha. Right in the neck. Okay, got his breach. He's done. Oh, I know. Here we go. Uh, bad shot on my part. It's not like he's going to do anything anyway. And right here. Beautiful. Dude, DM43 uh, is really good. There's another one. Bro, how many do I, are we fighting today? Gunner Commander. Why? And then 1A2. You know what? I'm going to Leopard 2PO. I thought I'd be the one who'd be a little bit uh, risky. <laughs> Oh, sorry, dude. <laughs> he's, he's probably just fresh out of spawn, too. 
Uh, is this is this spawn camping? I don't think it is. I want to move up though, because I only have seven rounds. Oh crap! Oh, 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 oh. I got lucky. That was an incredibly lucky shot on my part. Whew. Oh god! I, I was just thinking, man, we don't need three guns watching the same court, really. And he screwed up his shot. Hold up! I got, um, his loader still up? Oh, come on. Oh, crap. Come on, teammates. Oh, my luck ran out. That last game was a total bust. I kid you not. I, uh, I ended up bringing out some SPAAs, the Ozzelot, as well as the Rolling, and we ended up still getting schwacked. But I'll tell you, the Ozzelot is absolutely terrible. I have no idea why it's as bad as it is. I mean, I don't know if Gaiji knows how to balance it or how to make it efficient, but that missile it fires is unbelievably bad and it's, it's laughable. I'll tell you that right now. It's one of the main reasons why I don't do SPAAs on my channel, but I'll get to it at some point. But I'll tell you right now, the Ozzelot changed my mind. It's a terrible vehicle. I, I want you to try to change my mind. Hold up, I gotta save this guy if I can't. Oh, you guys see that delay? That was a hard delay. All right, up front, good kill. Whoa. Well, we know what that is. Come on, 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 come on. Yes! Please tell me that's a better shot. Woo, come on, come on, go down. Get out of here. Yes, come on. He's done, he's out of here. Get out of here. The premium, isn't it? Nope, it's a tech tree. I'll respect that. Oh, crap. Can't see. Gotcha. I, I don't got you. Hold up. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Come on. Ooh, there we go. That's why you wiggle your turret, guys. Oh, what the hell is in front of me, though? I can't see him. It's a T-72. Oh, nice kill. It's 64. Never mind. <laughs> Good shot. Oh, I love the weasel. You guys should definitely check out my video. Gotcha. Beautiful. Oh. Um. Okay. Oh, where is this guy? Yes! Beautiful. You know, it's one of those times where I'm kind of glad I have my chat turned off. Uh, it is really, really vicious right now. They are going at each other. Just some helicopter spawns and some racial terms. It's it's bad. <laughs> Guys, be grateful that I have my uh, chat turned off in-game. Because this shit can probably get me banned on YouTube. <laughs> Just saying. Anyways, let's get the hell out of here. Abrams. Thought I heard one. There he is. Got his gunner loader. Oh, he got my driver. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, right here. Ugh. All right. That doesn't sound good. Because it isn't. I, I thought that was a friendly for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> All right, we're good. Uh, I, uh, I got to recruit. Let's take that point back, too. Ooh, ooh, T90. Gotcha. Sorry, I saw the mark, and I didn't think he was uh, either behind the hill or in front of it. So, answer that question. Go get him, little R4. Ah. Ooh. Oh, okay. I should have a better reload, and I think he realized that. Ah, damn it. I. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up. Nope. Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm leaving, I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Ooh. Whew. Bro, these turret wedges, I'm telling you, man, they can tank stuff. That's a Leclerc. That's a scary tank. And there's another one. There goes my loader. All right. This freaking orange smoke is annoying as hell. I think right side. T72, maybe? Oh, he's hooking far right. Mm, I don't have a shot. I don't have a shot. He's coming. Son of a bitch. Not good, not good. Popping smoke. Nope, nope, nope. They gotta. I'm gonna. Ugh. Think about letting them have this point. Oh, no. Your teammates covering me. Got his commander. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, don't shoot me in the ass, please. Woo, he screwed up. 
Oh, no! Oh, God, it's all right, we got a backup. Oh. Gotcha, sort of. Oh, no. Think he sees me? Come on, come on, come on, fire, fire. Okay. Oh, God. Dude, that last fight got me shaking a little bit. Come on. Gotcha. I got a Chinese tank right in front of me. There he is. Ooh, okay. He messed up his shot. And I should have a slightly better reload than him. I don't know that it matters anymore. Or... Not? Come on. Come on. There we go. Beautiful. And you're getting pushed. I know. I know. I'm coming to help. Coming to help. There he is. Gotcha. Oh, boy. Oh, crap. Well, guys, the, uh, the MiG-17 uh, didn't kill us. I just gave him the kill, but I got some nuke. <laughs> yeah, I got some nuke. Now, here's the thing. The sky's kind of crowded right now, so will I be able to drop this off? Uh, that remains to be seen. We might get shot down. All right, guys, we're coming in close. Oh, we're coming in really close. I got I to gotta make this count. It won't take much for them to kill me. Whoa. Low and fast. Low and fast, low and fast. Come on. I'm nervous. Come on. I'm spamming that space bar. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yes! Nuke out, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Yeah! <laughs> oh, with the Leopard 2PL. Oh, that was satisfying. Woo! It was a hard game. I'm shaking right now. I really am. Beautiful. Let's enjoy this view, and then let's get going to the next one. By next one, I actually meant the outro. I went to go review the footage to uh, make sure everything was fine because, you know, desync and stuff. OBS is weird like that sometimes. And it uh, turns out I have more than enough footage to uh, get this video done. So, yeah, that was uh, our last one. And as per usual, this vehicle is pretty damn good. And, and you know what's funny? It, a lot of people who play the PL, I always underestimate them as a player. I always see them. I think, okay, that's a PL. He probably has no idea what he's doing, blah, blah, blah. But then you run into a person kind of like me, maybe better than me or anything for that matter. But just, just say for right now, you run into a person who has an understanding of the game in the PL. And this is a lot of the result you can achieve with just this vehicle. And it's not difficult. It's... It really comes down to the player base because the Leopards, in my opinion, are fantastic vehicles. This one is no exception to that rule. This is a superb one. Unfortunately, it's really much frowned upon because this is a quote-unquote pay-to-win vehicle. And it can be because you can spend Golden Eagles instead of grinding this out through normal means. And in fact, you don't even have to have this entire lineup at all to acquire this particular vehicle. All you do is all you need is this and you're at top tier and i don't agree with that i i've never agreed with it ever at any given point uh and to have this be the way it is it's frustrating to say the least but it is what it is it's here and it's still a fantastic brilliantly fantastic vehicle i have to say that instead so yeah that's that's really it by the way please take those pieces uh pieces of advice and make the best of it 21 rounds that's the golden number for me 16 to 21 that's what I want to say is the golden number or golden numbers per se and anywhere in between that and kind of do your best in this thing. Understand your surroundings, utilize those good thermal sites, use that commander site. As you can see, we used it to great effect and you might perform well in this thing. And would it be worth to put this in your top tier lineup? Hell yeah, it is. Yeah. Like, I mean, look at this. This is my top tier lineup. This is what I play with all the time for Germany. And it sits here on my 11th slot, which I unlocked via um, the whole registration link stuff. It's, it's, it's complicated stuff. But to point being, this is my top tier lineup. Could be a bit better, but it, it sits here and it sits here comfortably with an expert crew. So take that as you will. Let me know what you guys think about this. Give me your opinion. Do you like fighting these? Do you like fighting in it? I have no idea. Feel free to let me know exactly what you think. And as per usual, I will throw in my two cents. And please try to remain civil. I know this is a quote unquote pay to win vehicle. 
But please try to stay civil as best as you can because I know this is a hot topic. So, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for being here and checking this out. This was a fun experience, and I love doing this. I love showing this to you guys, and I appreciate every single one of you for taking the time to watch this video all the way through to its end because, yeah, only about 8 or 9% of you actually do, and you guys are just that much more awesome. Seriously, thank you so much. So with all that being said, as per usual, I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Uh, if you want to see this gameplay live, you're able to find me over on the streams. You'll find me rant there quite a bit. Uh, and I'm a little bit more ragey than anything else compared to here. And yeah, check that out for sure, guys. I implore you. And yeah, you know, rate, subscribe, do all that cool stuff. But yeah, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. I'll see you not only in the next video or even the streams, but in War Thunder itself. Until next time.